Oh my gosh, this video is such a freaking mess already. Hey guys, it's me Paige or Paris, whatever you want to call me, and welcome to another video. And today we are going to talk about what? So this video is basically me talking about my experience of singing, writing songs, and how we got into this day to me actually performing my original songs for the first time in front of people. Looking back on like the first time I started writing songs was probably my Nintendo DS days. I think I was more inspired to write songs back then was because of all of those like Disney Channel movies where they like write all their own songs. Last year's old news. I don't even know. I think back then I was really obsessed with Hilary Duff. I don't even know. So a bunch of recordings on my freaking Nintendo DS. I don't even know. Is like me singing a bunch of Hilary Duff songs and also I don't know how I just started singing my own tunes. Those were honestly the most embarrassing things I've ever done, but I guess it's cute, so. If you guys don't know, I'm Filipino, so a lot of Filipinos do karaoke. Karaoke is our life. Karaoke is our little hobby or side thing. So if any Filipino does karaoke, hi. <laughs> Since I was younger, I can still remember um, my family members would make me sing every Saturday at our family gathering. And I would get like money. My cha-ching! Like, I would literally have a plastic bowl in front of where I was singing, and they would, like, put money in, like, dollars, five dollars, twenty dollars, and that's how I made my big, big bucks back then. <laughs> so, I think my mom put me... Mom! I think, yeah, my mom put me into singing lessons when I was, like, younger for a year, and I would sing... A lot of freaking random songs. I think basically all I sang was like, I increasingly went to Disney to pop songs real quick. <laughs> I'm acting like I've been through a breakup in second grade. I have nothing against me doing voice lessons, but voice lessons helped me a lot with like music reading and my diaphragm and how to breathe correctly, but my freaking teacher was so obsessed with Taylor Swift. When I was younger, after my like voice lessons, I would pretend to write notes, like pretend like I would watch my Disney channel and just write a bunch of freaking notes on a piece of paper. I don't even know how. I don't even think they were real notes, but I, you see, I was really dedicated to music. <laughs> So I did three play productions during my middle school years. So um, I did a professional one, which I had to audition. I don't know how I got it. Like my audition song was so bad. I got carrots and kisses and plenty. I got holes and what's it's galore. I got big pops. I've got twenty. But who cares? But anyway, I did that professional thing, and then I did Aladdin in fifth grade. And then I did Susical. I think all of you guys know I did a bunch of Susical vlogs back then. So I graduated eighth grade, and then I went into high school, and I did choir. I still am in choir. I've been in choir for about two years since I'm a sophomore, and I really like the experience. It's really like, um, I don't know, choir? So, my first song I ever wrote was technically when I was younger, younger, but I feel like the song I wrote six, seven months ago was my first actual real song I wrote. So, um, things happen. I'm in high school and a lot of rough things happen. And I think I didn't know how to cope with anything, so I ended up writing music. And I, like, I posted a ton on my Instagram story. So before I did all of that, I like I would hear a tune of a song and l listen to the lower octave key of the song and I would think of random lyrics to put in it. That's not even the tune of the song. 
if you know what I mean. So I ended up using that lower key octave of song to create my first ever song. But, um... It's really confusing. I don't really know. I wrote songs as an escape, like every other artist does, to express my feelings without actually having to say it. You know what I mean? Because I'm not, like, I think when I got into high school, I feel like I enclosed my mind a lot to all the personal stuff going on because I care more about school than my actual personal life, you know? Typical Asian girl. <laughs> I think a lot of people should find their coping method when they have personal experience, personal, like, heartache. And I'm glad I found writing songs as my advantage. <laughs> the week of my performance, I was so freaking nervous. And the week before, I actually lost my voice, which is really bad. And then the day before, I ended up losing my voice again. So it is, like, the day before my performance, and I lost my freaking voice it is not going well <laughs> i was losing my voice should i just not do my performance because um i didn't even explain how i'm doing this performance so my performance is basically occurring because my choir is having this coffee house setting where people can sing open mic whatever everybody has to stand up before and i told my teacher i write original songs and she's like okay you can sing and i had a 10 minute slot so i could sing three songs i only wrote two songs but then i just added a cover song to it the day of my performance um i forgot all how i literally forgot how to sing i didn't know how to sing i didn't know how to like i didn't even know the own lyrics of my own song that's how scared i was so my performance is literally in like i don't know six seven hours and i'm so freaking scared like my voice is better and everything but like i'm not really confident with like all the like stuff oh my gosh i'm so scared i was freaking nervous already and i wanted to pee my freaking pants because there were so many talented people that night and i just couldn't freaking handle my mind anymore <laughs> wanted to pee I did I don't even know so um when I performed I performed two original songs first and then one cover song so I did my song that's called you know who you are and I wrote that six months ago <laughs> Go Paris, thank you, I love you. And then I did my newest original song, which is called I didn't know, and I wrote that um, I think two weeks ago before this event. Um, this song is called I Didn't Know. <laughs> I did a Tate McCrape cover of The Player, which is one of my favorite songs she has written. Um, this isn't an original, but this is a song called The Player by Tate McCrape, and she's one of my favorite original artists, so here it is. <laughs> very nervous in my first song which yeah um i messed up some keys i paused a lot but that's okay everyone makes mistakes while performing so reflecting on my performance i feel like i did pretty good i'm pretty proud of myself and what i've achieved with my performance and if anyone has the opportunity to perform their songs, you should do it. And, um, like, there's, like, so many weird reasons for me to make this video. But this video is intended as me to, um, 
show that I'm cutting it short because I know everyone's getting bored already. But um, basically this video was supposed to intend about my journey of me singing and like how I got to the day of me actually performing my original songs. Because a lot of people have been asking me about my original songs, about my cover songs, and like how did I start singing. So I just decided to put it all in one video, you know? So I hope you guys like this video. I don't like doing outros and I really don't like doing all of that promotion stuff. But if you are new, just subscribe and like this video and I post videos every other week. So I'll see you guys in a new I'll see you guys in a new video and <laughs> bye. <laughs>